Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert these uh, pencil and kind of weird sketches into vector files for laser cutting. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I've done is I've actually sent this image to my email, uh, took a photo of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on copy image to my illustrator. And in illustrator, I'm going to click on new file. Keep uh, these measurements the same, A10 by 450, because that is our laser cutting uh, measurements there. And we're going to click on create. But also make sure that your color mode is in RGB as well. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go edit and we're going to paste this image. So this is the image that I'm looking at right now. And what I would like to do is I'd like to vectorize it so that I could actually cut it out on the laser. Now, it's pretty much um, a couple of simple little steps here. Uh, I'm assuming that you guys are going to be working on the Mac for this. On the iPad, it's slightly different. So there is a little um, button here called Image Trace. Now, you want to make sure that um, this is your select tool right here. And you want to make sure that you're actually selected the image. Because if you don't select the image, Image Trace will not pop up here. But once I click on the image, Image Trace will pop up here as a quick action. And I click on it, and there is my image that's actually traced right now. Now, notice the difference between how each of these images are popping up. Now, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to paste that original image again so we can kind of have a look at the difference. So this was here with a pencil right here. Um, and you can, what I might do is I might just, uh, I might just put a comparative next to each other. So we're just going to crop this image. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in so we can actually have a look at the difference here. Now, this was a, a, a pencil right here, and I kind of just did a half kind of weird shade. And you can see it's not even picked up um, clearly. Uh, in this one, again, I try to shade it in, uh, and again, no pickup. This is with a whiteboard marker, um, and it's kind of starting to pick up that border, but, you know, it's picking up all the curves there. And all of that and this was again with the whiteboard marker kind of shaded out now the sharpie here this was um, I was using a black sharpie the permanent marker um, and that seemed to come up with the best outlook so now what if I just want to I'm gonna get rid of this image here for now I only want to laser cut this sharpie image now the problem is when I click on that it's not gonna let me up it's not gonna actually allow me to click on it at all so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move this out of my area. Now, you can choose to work in this area, but um, the reason I'm moving this out into the gray space is so you can actually see what's happening. So the image was traced, and there should be, again, I'm going to, if I don't click on the image, then I'm not going to see the expand button. So I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to click on expand. And basically what it's done is it's kind of like kind of separated everything. But we still need to ungroup it. So we're still not deselecting, but we're going to click ungroup. And that's pretty much select um, kind of ungroup things. But this white space here, I really don't like this white space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this magic tool or the magic wand. I'm going to click on the white space itself. Now, a good um, idea is that you can kind of when you click on the white space, the fill button should go into white. So you can click on it and you click delete. Voila, the white is actually gone. All right, so I am looking at just the vivid, um, sorry, the Sharpie one. So I'm going to kind of bring it out here. So it's filled in black. Let's say I want to actually cut this out. If I want to cut this out, I need to change the stroke size to red. Um, and I want to get rid of the black fill. Basically, what I've got here is this little red piece is actually going to get cut out. Uh, don't forget that you need to change the stroke size to 0.001 if you want to laser cut otherwise i mean it does look a bit thin but that's that's fine right there now if you want to burn the image onto the wood you want to engrave it then you don't want to put a red on it instead what you want to do is leave it just as a black all right so let's say now we want to leave um, this black out i'm actually going to go back to this heart symbol that my kid was actually working on so let's say I want to actually cut out this heart symbol. All right, now if I want to cut out this heart symbol, right now it's fully black, which means it's actually going to get engraved. But I want the heart to be cut out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to no fill. And stroke, I'm going to put it as red. So that's going to give that red border. 
and I also want to change it to 0 0.001 and then it's pretty much um, ready to be cut uh, but if you want to engrave it then you could actually leave it like this all right so pretty much guys when you are actually looking at um, your artwork that you want to convert it into laser cutting um, to, when you want to convert it into a vector for laser cutting what you want to remember is this um, I'm gonna paste it see if that is still there yeah so this was my original picture there and notice how it actually works out so you really want to have it as sharp as possible uh, it does pick up pencil but it's as not clear now if you look at this little shape here this uh, parallelogram um, and I've kind of tried to trace it here and you can see that that line is actually kind of missing so the best thing for you guys is make sure that you actually um, when you're working with paper that you use a, a, a dark colored black pen or a black sharpie to get those edges nice and crisp that way when you actually end up um, uh, doing an image trace on illustrator uh, the image gets traced really well and that becomes a lot easier for laser cutting all right and you'll also notice like you know it picks up like these weird lines you know it's gonna pick up and that's the bottom of the page you know it's completely gone out, gone out as dark here but anyway guys I um, think that's about it for this quick little video here so this should help you guys out with um, getting your images ready uh, to be laser cut or etched or engraved. Cool. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.